welcome and you do do Welcome to the new video by DJSBRC. We have the Arma Outcast 4S Gen 1 or V1. Uh, I do have on the channel too the V2, but it is the crate and it's a little bit longer than the Outcast 4S. But today we need a little bit of fixing to do on this one here. Uh, one of my last uh, bashing CS session, let's say in a sand pit did not end well your tire is not supposed to do that let's fix that that's the c hub that would be part ar330519 let's fix this let's remove the cab not having this in our way one of the first thing you're going to do is remove this tire now, this being a V1, uh, the wheel itself is 17 mil, but the physical nut, it's not. It's an 8 mil with a bigger flange. Uh, HPI used to have this, uh, I think they still do, on the Savage. It's the same nut. Like I said, it's still 17 mil. And it's this, our carrier right here, we need to change. And I'm gonna to try to dismantle this vehicle less as possible. What I'm gonna do is remove my steering linkage. And to use my trusty Milwaukee here. It's not brushless, it's brushed. An M12, this just screwdriver, love it. Still has a decent torque, decent speed. But I'm less afraid of uh, Bessie stripping some of my screws. I'm gonna remove the knuckle out of it, and I'm just gonna physically pull on the steering uh, knuckle itself. And then we'll remove these screws here after, once we swapped out this guy. On the V1, it's still the same thing on the V2. Basically, you're gonna remove one of these smaller screws here to be able to remove the pin. And once you eject this pin, this will come out and you'll be able to undo the top one. But let's do the top one right now. Remove our toe. And now we just have this bottom one to remove. That I don't remember if it's a two mil. Yeah. And you'll see it's a very, 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 very small screw. Don't lose that. Now you'll need something that's small. I'm gonna use my 1.5. And on the back side here, can you see it right here? You'll see a small hole, and I'm just gonna push on it and eject the pin. Once that's done, your C hub just got you just removed it, and you see where the uh, breakage happened right here. Let's take our package here. The other thing too I love about Arma. Some of their bags are Ziplocs. You can keep the old part. Well, not your old part, but the stock part in the, the bag, the one you don't need. Now I'm going to match it. This is the one we need. Put the other one back in the bag. Put that aside. Now we're going to grab our C up again. Reinsert it. Insert our pin. 
make sure she's all the way in and let's rescrew this one I'm just gonna do it by hand and you don't want to over tighten it because it is in plastic now I'm gonna grab my top link I align the pivot ball grab my screw just make sure it's there we go sometimes what happens because you're trying to screw in the plastic here the, the hole they make it a little bit smaller in the screw that way when it grips itself it stays you might have a hard time sometimes just to start them now let's remove these guys here oh yeah that's right they're 2.5s I'm just surprised these C hubs on this machine are at least two years old. I the only thing I broke beside the recently the C hub on this vehicle was one of the rear A arms. Uh, if I remember correctly, I might have a video on the channel when I change them to the RPM version. Now I'm going to reinsert my draft shaft. It is keyed. Just be careful. And then, doesn't really matter which one you grab, they're all the same length, both of them. And screw them back in. And yeah, I don't, like I said, the only thing I broke on this guy here beside the C-Hub is the uh, rear, rear arms. But besides that, nothing. And I'm not, I'm not light on this vehicle, I literally, bash it I I just don't care now the other thing too unfortunately with Arma the pivot balls they do come out sometimes like this one just fell off of this here See, it's super easy to they don't really stay be careful with that now I'm going to reinsert it Right here, grab my screw. Sometimes I'll grab another screwdriver, make sure everything's aligned. There we go. Put this outside, grab our wheel. Grab our nut. Put our nut back in. And there we go. And this is how you change your C hubs on an Outcast 4S. And it's going to be the same procedure on the newer Outcast and the newest Creighton 4S V2s. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. It does help a lot the channel and the ratings. And to subscribe is still free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it does help out the channel a lot. Thank you for watching.